Welcome to the YouTube channel H2O Chemistry. I am Satya Narayanan, your chemistry teacher. This is a continuation of uh, average atomic mass. Shall we calculate uh, average atomic mass for another element? Yes, okay. This is an example number two. Today we are going to calculate the average mass of a carbon element. So carbon has totally three isotopes. So one isotope is left because it has very very less natural abundance. So let us go to the other two isotopes. Six carbon twelve and six carbon thirteen has a natural abundance of ninety eight point nine zero percent and one point one zero percent respectively. So what does natural abundance inform us? So if you collect carbon from any source, if you collect 100 carbon atom from any source, we call it sampling. Out of every 100 carbons, 98.9% will be the atom or atom of 6 carbon 12. So 98.90 atoms or 6 carbon 12. Out of every carbon, 100 carbons, 1.10 atoms are 6 carbon 13. So I will calculate total mass of 100 atoms. Yes, the number into mass plus this percent into mass so add it so 98.90 this is availability into this 12 plus 1.10 into 13 so you add it you will get 1201.10 this is the value so you can see the calculation here so this is a mass of 100 atoms. I will you calculate the mass of one atom or take an average this number divided by 100. So we will get 12.0111. Right. So this is a very simple idea we can adopt. Now let us look, go to the weighted average method. So the book has given this value isotopes 6 carbon 12, 6 carbon 13, 98.90, 1.10. This is a natural abundance. I will calculate the fractional abundance. This number divided by 100. So 98.9 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.989. So 1.10 divided by 100, 0 0.011. So this is a fractional abundance now. As I told you earlier, how will you calculate the weighted average? The weighted average is very simple idea. We need to take the sum of the products of fractional abundance and their corresponding masses. So fractional abundance of carbon 12 into mass of carbon 12 plus fractional abundance of carbon 13 mass of carbon 13. So I have a two isotopes. So I have a two calculation here I'm adding it if I have a 3 I need to have a 3 so like that now fractional abundance of uh, carbon 12 is 0 0.989 into 12 plus the carbon the fractional abundance of uh, carbon 13 is 0 0.011 into mass 13 so if you add it you get the value 12.01 this is a mass of carbon atom. I hope this video is very helpful in learning average atomic mass. Hope it helps. It's a very, very simple topic, my dear children. Let us see more sums about it a little later. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos. Thank you.